First thing you need to notice for this question, we've got a period in choice D. Easy test. Do we have a sentence before the period? Do we have a complete sentence after the period? If so, we're done. We've got to pick that. So let's take a look. In 2000, Nora de Hoyos Comstock, herself an owner of a successful consulting firm, sought to increase Latina representation in corporate settings. That sounds like a sentence. Specifically, uh, Nora sought to increase Latina representation in corporate settings, right? There's definitely an, an, an kind of insertion here in the middle of the sentence. That's what commas do, right? They, they interrupt sometimes. These two commas are giving us an extra phrase in the middle so we can cut that out and ignore it to hear the sentence better. So that's a sentence. Check. She founded Las Comadres para las Americas, an international community that for over two decades has served as a resource and information network for Latino business professionals. Well, here again, we have a comma. This time it's adding this entire thing to the end. So it's great, useful information, but not useful in terms of finding a sentence. The actual sentence is, she founded Las Comadres. That's it, right? So we have two sentences, no choice. Got to pick D. Comma is not enough. Conjunction by itself is not enough. We need the comma plus the conjunction plus the word and in order to join two sentences. So it's not the same thing. And hopefully you heard that we need some sort of break because to just continue doesn't make any sense. So if we know the rules about punctuation, if we know what they're really testing, it's almost always sentence structure, we can easily get into this passage looking for the right thing. Don't read these passages until you have some idea of what you're looking for, what kind of rule might be in play, because otherwise you're just wasting time. You have to reread them anyway. So get to the choices first, read it, figure out what they're testing. Then as you read, think about, you know, that rule makes it easier to probably get the question right and not fall for traps.